And this is an update on our Evo 10 story or our project Evo here at MRT. Now, what we've got here is actually the fuel fuel pump and surge assembly out of an Evo 10. Now, in an Evo 10, this particular part here is what tells your gauge how much fuel is in the tank because it's a float, and depending on the level of fuel, obviously it will change position with a little rear stat on the side. But um, you'll notice the wires that go to the pump which is all up inside here not an easy thing to replace the pump but the really cool thing is, is you don't have to change the pump on Evo 10 until you're pushing some seriously big horsepower I'm talking like over 60 70 kilowatts of the wheel so if you've got grunt and you're thinking you need a fuel pump for say just an exhaust system and a mild set of um, modifications such as that you don't need to change a fuel pump on Evo 10 which is good because it is a nightmare to change it but what I wanted to show you I can't show you in specific detail because it's a little bit tricky but on a tank such as the Evo, it's actually a hump tank because it's got two sides of the tank over the centre tail shaft and from a technical point of view, obviously this assembly has the return line and draws the pump fuel out of one side of the tank but it has to actually have to pull the fuel from the other side of the tank as well and it does that through a series of vacuum lines built into this assembly. The problem is when you upgrade to an anti-surge remote tank with a replacement high volume pump this system provides a huge restriction in the return line as part of that upgrade which then confuses and changes all the dynamics and way the car needs to be tuned with ridiculously high fuel line pressures at the injectors which is a big no-no from a tuning point of view because obviously you want to tune the car with the same fuel line pressures that you would have factory standard and so on. The downside is when you put a aftermarket high volume pump to match the anti-surge tank kit you then open up another can of worms. So as part of that upgrade, this is one of the modifications we actually have to do. There's a modification to this assembly that needs to be done, which is a critical element to make sure that you've got the reliable fuel line pressure at the front of the engine when you come to retune your Evo, obviously, and hopefully using the Ecutec software to take advantage of all the fantastic features that comes with the factory standard ECU. So there you have it, a couple of tips and tricks of what to look for. Don't fall into the trap of thinking you can get away without doing it. If you're putting a replacement remote mounted or in-tank mounted high volume pump, you will potentially end up suffering from this problem. And if you need some help with that, you know where to call. Contact us by email, phone, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, you name it, we're here to help you. Hopefully this bit of technical information has helped you learn more about your Evo 10. I'm Brett Middleton, thanks for watching.